Hello, good day, my dear friends. Here is the Cat 395, 6 channel well one. Now we will open to show you how to troubleshoot into and see the inside details of the hydraulic station. So after rear counterweight block remove, side plate here, only bottom, you have two screw there. Two screw take out, this one you already remove. And uh, this one, so for the box inside we have on there, receiver and also sometimes we add sound and smoking system only from top two screws these two screws securing here take out this box only remaining plugs take out you can remove and from the right side we only have the side plate so this side plate the door can open yeah so actually it's only only two screws from top bottom now it's pushing into this slot. So from bottom you will see there are two screws under there. So two screws take out, this side door also removed. So now we have the access to the hydraulic station. All this plate here, yeah. so uh, one plate, oil tank, pump, well block, and the cooler. So this station, only three big screw holding. One here, one left, these two, yeah, two from rear and the one from the front. Here, this position has one big screw. So three big screws take out. This hydraulic station, you already can directly lift up. But with still remaining holes and all the wires connections. All this servo, pump, fan, all the wires are still connected here. So here we have one plate. And the middle we have one plate. So middle one plate is only one, two, three three screw to remove it only the hydraulic station lifting a little screw take out this plate you can remove and rear side this plate here only two screws holding it after all this plate removed now what remaining uh, the wires uh, each one i will explain in another video it's many wires yeah now only the hydraulic so the top three channel valve bottom three channel valve all these holes we have to remove it so the hydraulic station we can take out completely so remember each valve two holes put a clip locking together put mark for example it's well one two three four five six you put tag each well while hose after screw take out locking together put a mark tag yeah so all these screws removed, now this hydraulic station will lift up, then it will be looking like this. Only this one now I removed the oil tank. Oil tank is here with seal, so we remove it, we can see it more clearly. Turn around, we will see the cooler, oil internal channel from the plate, in and out from plate, internal have oil channel. And here, this block secure from bottom, internal have oil channel. And here, this plate is for oil suction, internal have oil channel for the two pump suction, suction. So this plate, to remove it and separate the plate from the pump, only these two screws take out and only remaining these four securing to this pump, these four securing to this pump. All the screws take out, this plate can be removed. So pump, no more suction, yeah, pump will be separated, no more this plate here. Yeah. Top that's blocked, that's the drilling hole for oil internal channel for suction line. Now let's see this well how it's working. So from two pump, suction from here, internal oil channel from here, oil tank, go, go to the pump. Then one line, this pump, internal oil channel, go to this three well block. And bottom of this pump, discharging yeah, go to this well block so two oil channel inside the well block in and out or exchange in and out in and out or exchange and when oil returning it go to the oil filter then goes back to the oil tank so two line well block when oil returning for example this one oil returning to the block go down and go to the plate, internal oil channel, go through the oil filter, then running to top, then running down, from internal go back to oil channel, oil tank.
return. So from a valve, sixth valve, let's see. In the middle top, that's a small arm valve. Bottom middle, that's a bigger arm valve. So two cylinder separate, yeah, two, two line. And this one is the bucket. So spare oil one, spare oil two, spare oil three. Bucket, big arm, spare one, spare two, small arm, spare three. Now I will disassemble one by one to show you. So inside, where have oil rings? If have oil leaking, what could be possible reason? So first of all, uh, all these top nozzles, you have gasket. Eyes can see if have leaking or not, yeah. So if under the air well block, all this between the plate, the here between the plate, here from the filter, if somewhere have oil leaking, so disassemble step by step and you will see how you can make the maintenance. This three well block, from this side only four screws, long screw, yeah. So after you take out, yeah, it's right. I put a little lock tie, that's why. At the beginning, very hard. So each well block from this end blocked. In the middle, each one you have O rings here, and these two middle have two O rings here. Yeah, this one already coming dropped. So that's all the seal. So if. if between in the middle leaking, maybe this oil seal, some problem, yeah. That's top three. So from here, connecting to this block, here have two o -ring. So same, between here we have o -ring. Two o -ring here, two o -ring here, so we come in. And also each one, from top, these nozzles we have all have gasket. This block on there also have O ring. And here I will remove one, you will see. For example, this well block, this end we have cover. This cover open one, two, three, four, screw this cover remove. You also have one O ring run inside for seal. So from this block, securing to the pump, motor middle block, one, two, three, four screws. And here that's oil channel one, two, here one, two, and here that's the filter, so only secure by top two screws. Take out, we can see the filter internal channel. So here we will see oil channel from this filter, bottom go up, then go to top, then from top, internal line, go back to under there, then from internal go to oil tank. So we will see this block, go to down there, we have O-ring here. So O-ring here for seal. And top, this surface have O-ring. And from here, seal securing here, that's the seal. That's how it's the oil filter. Next one, that's all possible yeah, oil connection with seals, yeah. So one, two, one, two, one, two, and also top. Now we will see from other side. This position you can see, that's the two pressure regulator valve and two pressure gauge. Turn around the body right side, so which is connecting for the pump for oil internal channel from oil tank this one now we will remove it and still eight screws I already lose it so after covering three seals one from here that's the ring and here from pump, O ring. Here pump, O ring. Three plus one, two, three. So from this middle block to this block, only secure four screw, we take out, I already loosed. Bottom screw, I also already loosed. That I will show you from bottom. So they are all big bolts, big parts, no holes or metal block, easy disassemble. 
So now it is separated only from bottom. Block one, block two, bottom have big screws. So this block, this big screw, we will take out. So from this end to there, we will see now. All internal oil channel have oil, yeah. So here must have seal. So one seal here, one seal here from the pump discharging to this block. Pump one discharging, pump two discharging. So two seals here and from bottom connecting to this hole, here you have one more oil seal here. O ring. So now the pump, two pump, only the bottom big screw. Let's take it out. That's the pump. Now separate it. It was sitting on there. So it's no oil on there, only big screw secure, yeah. So only from this side, suction oil seal. This side, discharging oil seal. Now, this pump block with middle block, we can separate to see internal how it is looking. Yeah? So now from all this plate, removed internal oil channel, yeah, only remaining this cooler from the rear end, two screws. So after we take out, here is internal have oil channel. So no holes, only metal block internal channel with oil seals, yeah. So much more stable than hose connections. So here we have O-ring, oil channel internal, O-ring here, and O-ring here. Go inside the circulate cooling by fan, then return, yeah. Now let's see this two pump unit. Here suction line, here discharging line, pump head, middle connection block, motor, so pump to middle connection block, only these two long screws holding. Remove these two screws, the pump head will be separate from the middle connection block. So this one, there is I separate it. Shaking, pushing. So the pump. Check this line suction from here, big size going in, and from here discharging to the block. So discharging in and here coming out. In, out. That's the discharging here, rubber seal. And this turning shaft here, connecting to the motor turning block and turning this motor uh, pump shaft. And uh, mo mostly now, importantly, yeah, normally this pump in industrial, it's written one liter per thousand RPM. So pump turning one minute, one thousand turn, it's giving one liter oil flow. Now here, inside you have this locking ring, there is a shaft rubber seal inside. And here, both secure the end, this side not take out, this pump can be separated. But normally this one never need separated, the pump is Industrial level, long time no breaking down. The two pump and motor same. So now here remaining the motor, only two screws holding it. We take it out, we can separate the motor. So the motor turning with this locking block, align with the pump shaft, turning it. Here we have a locking screw, securing on the shaft, D shaft of the motor shaft so two motor are exactly same yeah so brush this sensing wire so now pump have been removed screws discharging rubber seal shaft rubber seal out feeding one o-ring and here suction have seal the cover removed the screw so suction discharge this remove like this Separate it. Mm -hmm. 
push back in. So you will see this line is suction. This seal, out seal is discharging seal. So suction from here, discharging this chamber. Push out the gear. So the gear was engaging just like this. So when you're turning from this side, like this, so the shaft looking from here is turning anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise, so this side gears engaging, engaging, discharging, pressure goes up. This end is gear disengage, so causing vacuum and this side is suction. We very finely make polishing, shiny. So even you push back in, need well aligned, slowly push in. With in, also containing smoothly. So it's very fine make. And steel gears, yeah, housing is aluminum. That's the pump. Normally this pump, you, you, you don't need to open it. Yeah, lock it back. <laughs>